So here's the thing. This is the largest commercial 3D printing farm in the Western Hemisphere. And it's too small. So normally, if you wanted to manufacture a product like this little guy, what you would do is you'd probably call up some foreign molder and say, well, how much is it going to cost me? And he's going to say something like, well, it's going to cost a ton for the mold, and then you're going to have to buy about a few thousand of these units just to cover the cost of that. Uh, and then you end up dropping a little bit more cash for the shipping of the product, where you cross the whole ocean. And then you drop a little bit more cash for the warehouse where you got to store these things for a couple of years while you actually figure out to sell, how to sell them. But you, that doesn't even guarantee that you actually sell these products. You may just have a bad idea, but now you're committed to it and there's this huge expense and risk to take right up front when manufacturing a widget. But what if there was a way to get around that to where you don't have to buy the mold, you don't have to buy the shipping, you don't have to buy the warehouse, just parts are made when customers buy it. That idea was the thing that we kind of started working on. But what if you didn't need the mold? Well, if you don't need the mold, you don't have to make tens of thousands of parts. And if you don't have tens of thousands of parts, then you don't have to ship them. You don't have to store them. You don't have to build all this infrastructure about around getting your part from the manufacturer to the actual customer. Instead, what you can do is just create the model and then upload it. And then when a customer wants it, they buy it and it's shipped to them. Nothing is actually ever made until somebody actually orders it. This takes manufacturing from something that's very expensive to just get started to something that's basically free. With this first giant prototype, this enormous printer farm with hundreds of machines, we've proven out that model. It is now possible for a creator to manufacture something without ever having inventory or warehousing or having to put something on a boat. And it's been working. But now we have a problem. It's starting to get just a little bit crowded. As we've grown and as we do more and more projects, we need more machines. We need the machinery to support the machinery. We need the packaging for clients. We need the storage for what little inventory we hold. There's thousands of parts being produced every day and we just don't have room for all of these. And this is slowing us down. It's getting so crowded that we can barely function in this space anymore, so we gotta start looking at other options. The other issue that we have is just power. We use as much power as a neighborhood, which is totally understandable, since we're basically running a bunch of hot plates. But we can't keep on using this much power. There's just not enough coming into this building to add a few thousand more machines. So we gotta move someplace else. This space was specced out for 800 machines, but now it's full. We have hundreds of machines running 24 seven, producing thousands of parts, but it is not enough and it is way too crowded. We want to do so much more to give our clients and our customers so much more capacity to produce cool items. So we're gonna have to move. We have to move here. <laughs>